Hey Glenn, happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to take a look at our league this week and through a different lens. And I thought the best way to do it would be to plot out the league on a two by two matrix. On this side, we will have teams that can win, high or low. And then on this side, we will put skill. Again, from low to high. Now, one thing we know we can get out of the way right away, right off the bat, is one team in particular. That's Zach. Zach falls squarely in this quadrant of low skill and a low probability to build a team that can win. Okay? On the other hand, we have people like... David and Tremaine, who have low skill, but a high probability to win. We also have Brian and Jay that have high skill, but have a low probability to win. So that leaves a lot of people like you, which is somewhere I would say higher skill level, medium chance of winning. Then you have... Eric with a higher level of skill and a lower probability of winning. And you have people like Garrett who are somewhere in here that could go 50-50, uh, although this season's not a good example. Then you have myself. Then we can also throw maybe Jim a little bit probably over here. I would say Jim has more skills than Zach, uh, but a lower chance of winning than the rest of us. Who, who are we missing? Todd. Todd would probably be somewhere up in here with Glenn. Now the key thing that I wanted to point out, this right here is really what's called the zone of mediocrity. This is where most of our teams live. Uh, year after year, right in this little quadrant. Um, and it's really a place you want to stay out of. Interestingly, majority of the teams are in here. Um, and I think we got everybody. That should be it, right, Glenn? Oh, yeah, Matt. Matt would probably, based on his past years, I would say in a higher skill level and a higher chance of winning outside the zone of mediocrity with a high chance of winning. Now again, this is just cumulative season over season. It's not indicative of this year. But I really think that this is a good way to look at the league and sort of what's going on. All right, now onto the next two by two. I wanted to do uh, another two by two matrix, um, especially considering some of the recent events that I've been involved in. The question I've been wondering about is, does it pay to be a hero or villain in the league? Basically in terms of winning for this season. Um, so let's go and map it out and see what we come up with. So over here, we will have our hero to villain, okay? And then we'll have ordinary citizen. And then down here, we will have wins, okay? Let's quickly label them. Let's top off our little matrix here. David is clearly a hero and is sitting with 10, okay? Clearly a hero. Glenn is an ordinary citizen, also sitting at 10 wins. Then you have Tremaine, an ordinary citizen, 8 wins. Then you have Todd, an ordinary citizen, at 7. Then you have Brian, ordinary citizen, at 6. Eric, an ordinary citizen, at 5. <laughs> Then you have Matt LaRoche, who is a villain, no doubt, with five wins. Then you have Jay, who's a hero, no doubt, I think we all can agree on that, who is sitting at five. It's funny, actually, Jay and Matt counterbalance each other. <laughs> uh, so Jay's sitting at five. Uh, Zach is an ordinary citizen, sitting at four. Actually, I want to change this a little bit for Zach. Let me just change this up. I think we should have a new category for Zach, which is Rescue Me. 
And I think he goes in that category. <laughs> okay? Then we have myself, which, especially after the past couple weeks, I clear folly in, solely in the villain category. And then Garrett, also in the villain category, at three. So what does this tell us? This tells us the following, that it pays to be an ordinary citizen, and the villains never win. Now, if you happen to be the rare superhero like David, uh, you could probably end up taking the whole thing. And I think we'd all, we'd all agree that David is a hero in the league. So, there you go, that's my latest analysis. I don't really know what it shows, except for the fact that I wanted to label people heroes or villains. But anyway, Glenn, um, I uh, wanted to wish you and the rest of the league a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, this has been a lot of fun. My season will probably be over this weekend, and, um, but I wish you all the best of luck, and have a safe, restful Thanksgiving. Out.